What's up guys, it's Team Productions here, and um, we're playing some, uh, it says Pain Evolution, but it's actually Max Pain 2, followed Max Pain. <clears throat> and you guys are probably getting sick of me switching all over games. I'm going to finish them eventually, trust me. But I have so many games on my library, just sit down and never play them, because I don't have a reason to. But now I do have a reason, because I have a full YouTube channel that's starting. So we're just going to go ahead and start a new game, Detective Mode. The darkness inside. Prologue. The fall of Max Payne. The manor. Now. So sad. <laughs> God. I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the scene. Repeat, we are, we are at, at the, the scene. scene. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. A hole. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun. A bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. The hospital, earlier tonight. We're losing him! Multiple gunshot wounds, pupils blown, head trauma, God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large four IVs, get him to ICU. He's Four. not responding! This guy is a train wreck! We're losing him! When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. Just like everyone else I ever knew. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. Just like a hole. I had to run. Get as far away from it as possible. Because the hole was too big. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. Max Payne. Max, dear, my friend. Payne, it's your year in the middle. Max, nine one one. Sorry, ghost. One of those super depressing and stuff. And you know what I do about super depressing stuff. Anyone there? Max, about what happened. I would fuck her. That's Max nice. Hey! Drop your weapon! NYPD, freeze! What were you thinking? Back off, Payne. Max? Max, answer me, Max! Everything. <laughs> I want you to die. That's a lot of leather squeak right there. I think. <clears throat> Wait, what was going on again? I'm gonna keep my videos relatively short now. I forgot, to guys. There was that. a blind yeah. spot in my head. There's always stuff going the on. Bullet shaped uh, hole where the answer should the be. Internet, all that kind of stuff. Call it denial. So I wanted to dig inside my skull like and scrape minutes, out the pain. Like the oh yeah, depressing stuff. I didn't yeah. need a shield. Oh no. The kick is good. I'll deal with pain. He's as good as dead. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! How do you feel, punk? What? Okay. Everything in my life is super 
depressing full of death. Jim Bravara. You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Since I know you, you must die somehow. Oh, bullshit. How come all bad guys are like really bad guys? And why is that just sitting there? They were after me. It was my fault. You can't run from your past. You'll end up running in circles. Until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from. Because I'm mad. Only the hole's grown deeper. And I love to make analogies with holes. She's dead because I knew her. I tried to run from it. Edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. The men are now depressing stuff. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. A fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. Just like it the could doctor. destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. Like the doctor. Kill. Inside. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Maybe I don't feel. You'll it. see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people! Circle around! Cover all the exits! Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I kiss her, which means she's gonna die. The Darkness Inside, Part One, Part uh, Chapter One, the uh, the uh, elevator doors. Oh my gosh! I had wanted to be punished for what I. I don't care. Go. I'm glad. Uh huh. I'll read it. I'll read it out to you guys. I wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Alfred Woden had kept it, had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence. Un unscathed a hero I didn't want to thank him I couldn't stomach it I left the DEA I went back to where I just started out back to the job the NYPD reported shots fired in the warehouse there acknowledge it's mine I'm on it Ten foul it wasn't a call for a homicide detective but I knew the address the warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lim he was connected to the organized crime we went back a while like brothers caught in the opposite sides of civil war. His words. Like a hole. He was connected to organized crime. Oh, fine. We went back a while. Like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His, His words. words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Perps. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. Good. I'm going in. Yeah! Apples.
boxes. They killed my family. I'm so awesome. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. Just I like chased the lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. The storm may or may not be dangerous. Yeah. Why do TV still have still frames? <laughs> yeah, you know, NYPD. Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. As you guys saw you yesterday, know, officer, you cops got it this. Perhaps this guy didn't fool me. He was leading me to a trap. We don't like traps around here. You feel lucky, punk. Yeah. The perps were masquerading as cleaners. I love blood. In the mornings. <laughs> Yummy. I'm not a violent man by nature. <laughs> I'm Ross. Awesome. taken care of, we're done. Okay. The room was gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. Also, I'm doing a Metro playthrough today. It's not, it's just a play around. It's not really a let's play. This is how I brush my teeth in the morning. Same joke I made yesterday. Like you heard. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Finn. I'm <laughs> so leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here. Uh -huh. you know, <laughs> Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait! The mob guys attacked us! I have no beef with you guys! You took them out! Listen, I work for Vladimir! Honey, you work for no one. <laughs> what do you want? We we can NYPD, drop them! Swag. 
gonna take? They're not supposed to cuddle with their ambush. We need to wrap this up. Like all the bad things in my life, it. it started with the death of a woman. Started with the death of all. Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona Sax! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Indeed we do. Mona. Maybe we should eat dinner. This is literally the farthest I've gotten in this game. Nothing can get to you. You're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. <laughs> My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it.
You all right? Detective Wintersign. I'm okay, damn it. Hey, we're working together on this. Voice acting. You got sloppy pain. You screwed up. It's unacceptable that she's dead. You can do better. I played it as business as usual. But everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona. Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith, licensed dealer in firearms. Right. The property owned by Vladimir Lem. Three groups. One, DOAs who had connections to Russian OC. Identified as Finn's employees. Two, the Mafia. This is and Mario. three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name. Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's gonna be all over the news. The Senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. No. <laughs> <laughs> I needed to talk to Vlad. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay, so I'll see you guys later uh, with a Metroid 2033 video. Bye. Because this is, uh, this is a game, and I'm gonna keep playing it, because I can. Goodbye.